If you thought your love life was complicated, you better get comfortable, because Katie Holmes' journey to finding love has not been a simple one. Everyone knows what happened with Tom Cruise, but what about all the other men that came into her life? Let's not forget that she and Jamie Foxx were an item for quite some time, and they were notorious for their secrecy. Fox, we trying to heat it up? Was it this hot before you got here? Sadly, it seems that ever since her scandalous divorce, Katie hasn't been able to find her one and only. Or is it possible that she found him and lost him already? Katie Holmes is single after calling it quits with her former beau, Emilio Vitolo Jr. Their romance might have been brief, but it was passionate. That is, I mean, obviously it's real and it's like, wow. They began dating in September of 2020, but in May of the following year, they decided to part ways. The insider added that the actress is focused on being a mother and dating isn't a priority for her at the moment. But we can't help but wonder, why? Is it possible that Katie can't seem to let her guard down after her relationship with Tom went up in flames? Well, following the infamous divorce from Cruz, Holmes went back to dating her first love and former co-star Joshua Jackson from Dawson's Creek. The person who knows me best. But Dawson knows my past. My future lies with you. The couple got back together after dating in the late 90s. When they first dated, Katie shared, I'm just going to say that I met somebody last year. I fell in love. I had my first love, and it was something so incredible and indescribable that I will treasure it always. Just a story about humanity and healing and hopefully something that a lot of people can relate to. Joshua revealed in an interview about the reunion, yeah, actually, like any old friend. It was like, oh, hi, how are you? What's going on? I had a kid. It was very nice, actually. Katie has always been notoriously private when it comes to her love life, so there isn't much that's known about her reunion with Joshua. But as far as we know, it didn't last very long. Over a year after Holmes had separated from Cruz, rumors about a new relationship started when the actress and Jamie Foxx were spotted at the same event in the Hamptons. They were photographed flirting with one another, and it was even reported that at one point, Katie sipped on Fox's cocktail, which could only mean that they were very close, or this was the start of a sweet flirty game between them. Who was your best dress there? Uh, shoot, who was, who was my, well, you know, you know. Oh, I know, oh, maybe his date? <laughs> yeah. However, after the photos were leaked, Jamie adamantly denied to entertainment tonight that he and Katie were dating. The rumors are 100% not true. In fact, it's quite hilarious because we simply danced at a charity event along with a lot of other people. Once they officially got together, the couple reportedly went to extreme lengths, including disguises, to keep their relationship a secret. And they were able to fly under the radar for almost two years without being seen in public together. It was even alleged that Katie would wear different kinds of wigs and hats when she went to go meet him at a hotel. At the beginning of 2015, though, their incognito streak was finally broken. The secretive couple was spotted out together holding hands, and yet they still refused to confirm their relationship. As if holding hands in public wasn't confirmation enough. In 2016, one of Jamie's close friends, Claudia Jordan, got herself in a lot of trouble when she leaked a bit too much information about his relationship. During a podcast interview, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star revealed he's very happy with her. I love that he seems very happy. We can only imagine that Jamie and Katie were pretty disappointed that one of their friends basically confirmed their relationship to the public without their consent. But the damage was done, and the cat was out of the bag. Despite the unofficial confirmation of their romance, the couple continued to keep their love away from the spotlight. However, the tabloids went wild when a new round of rumors surfaced later that year. Katie stepped out into New York City wearing a diamond ring on that finger, while Fox was spotted wearing a gold band. Fans could only assume that the couple must have secretly tied the knot. What else could the rings have meant? For Katie's 38th birthday celebration at the end of 2016 in Mexico, an insider revealed that she and Jamie had stayed in one of the most private suites at a hotel and made sure to stay away from any of the other guests. They even had everything delivered to their room and taken care of by a personal butler. When Katie went to visit Fox in Paris while he was filming the new version of Robin Hood, another insider revealed that the actress gushes about how amazing he is. She says she loves him from the tips of her toes to the top of her head. And so that's how it went over for the next two years. 
Secret meetups with a rare public outing, spotted holding hands, and looking loved up but nothing more. September 2017, Holmes and Fox are spotted holding hands on a rare public outing. However, in 2018, they did sit together at a pre-Grammys party. Katie looked happy and in love, and they spent most of the night smiling and whispering sweet nothings to one another, as far as we know. At least fans were able to get actual photos of them together that wasn't from the paparazzi. Later that year, a rumor buzzed around, alleging that the couple had broken up. However, Holmes' publicist was quick to shut down the rumor. Of course, neither Holmes nor Fox had ever confirmed their relationship to begin with, so this firm denial was pretty interesting. At the beginning of 2019, the couple made their first ever Met Gala debut. While they didn't walk the red carpet together, Fox and Holmes were photographed together inside, and they were in full couple mode. They even color-coordinated their outfits in shades of purple. Later in the month, Jamie's 25-year-old daughter, Corinne, opened up about her dad's relationship and confirmed that he and Katie are really great together. Just a few months after their Met Gala appearance, Fox was seen with another woman. The photograph of them together raised quite a few eyebrows, because he was spotted holding hands with singer Sela Vave. And then the news finally broke out. Jamie and Katie were officially over, and had been for months. When it comes to the reason for their split, it seems that their relationship had simply run its course, after five years together. An insider revealed, This industry is very tough on relationships. Jamie thinks Katie is an incredible human being. They had a very, very deep connection. They brought each other a lot of joy and laughter. However, they also revealed that the former couple lived very different lives, adding, His partying ways don't fit with hers as she's focused on raising her daughter and working. We can't help but wonder if perhaps all the added pressure that they put onto themselves by trying so hard to keep their relationship out of the spotlight didn't make things a little too much for them. We totally understand why Katie wanted to keep things private. After all, her very public relationship with Cruz no doubt took a toll on her. Well, as far as we can tell, Jamie Foxx was the only person who was able to win Katie's heart after her divorce, and he really seemed to make her happy. Since then, Katie hasn't been in anything serious, and we're curious to know who the person would be to steal her heart next. But we're so happy to see her focusing on being a mother and working on her career. We only hope that whenever she chooses to open her heart, it'll be with someone who sweeps her off her feet. They say opposites attract, but when it comes to love, just how opposite can two people who fall for each other be? Our minds were a little blown when the rumors that Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus were together started circulating. After a year of speculation, they really were dating. Then they had a baby, and now they're engaged. Although it's a little tricky to pinpoint exactly when the pair met, we do know they have morphed into one heck of a Hollywood power couple. You may know him as the volatile and resourceful Daryl Dixon in The Walking Dead. Since his role on the show, the actor has become the man that women want and the man that men want to be. Norman is now a fan favorite and a full-fledged sex symbol on the show. You are what I consider an absolute man. You're the man I aspire to be. <laughs> and you may know Diane as an international style icon and actress from Hollywood blockbusters like Troy, the National Treasure movie franchise, and Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. And if for some reason that doesn't ring any bells, you would probably know her from her decade-long relationship with Dawson Creek's Joshua Jackson. Everyone only knew Diane and Joshua together, so when they split, it was hard to imagine that she could have eyes for anyone else. She had only been recently single when she met Joshua, as she had just gone through a divorce with French director and actor Guillaume Canet. She even said the following on marriage. Without sounding pessimistic, I learned that I don't believe in marriage. I believe in a commitment that you make in your heart. There's no paper that will make you stay. A guy friend of mine said, and it made a lot of sense, that people should get married at the end of the road, not the beginning. That was, of course, until she met Norman. Diane and Joshua's relationship was already on the rocks in 2015, when the actress met her Prince Charming. Kruger and Reedus met on the set of the movie Sky. It was a little nerve-wracking for me because I had a lot of intimate scenes with him, and the schedule didn't allow us to meet beforehand. Our first day was literally that big love scene in Las Vegas. You never know what you're going to get. I was very pleasantly surprised, she said. 
So although there was no real life crossovers with the relationships, there was definitely some on-screen chemistry that sent sparks flying in the actress's head. She said that Reedus was extremely relaxed, easygoing, and gentle when she met him. What is Norman Reedus like in real life? He's a total asshole in real life. I don't know. I'm kind of shy. And when he was asked about Diane, he said, she's a dream. That was before they started dating. How cute is that? In July 2016, it was reported that Kruger and Jackson had split after 10 years together, with little detail given other than that they remained friends. I, I just think it's as long as you want to make it work, mm -hmm. you will keep working on it, you know, and I think um, the day you wake up and you don't want to anymore, you move on. The actress opened up that their relationship breakdown occurred at a time when she lost both her grandmother and stepfather. But her separation from Jackson after a decade of dating was actually liberating. Rumors spiraled that the Sky co-stars were dating just months after her split from Jackson. But they left us in suspense for two years. In 2018, they appeared on the red carpet together, holding hands and snuggling up for pictures. And just like that, the rumors were confirmed. But their debut together sparked further rumors. Was Diane Kruger pregnant? People began thinking that she was expecting. She appeared at the Cannes Film Festival in some loose-fitting outfits, and that was rather unusual for the supermodel. Then, in November, those speculations proved true, and Nova Tennessee was born. They are an extremely private and secretive couple, of course, so the birth was not announced by them, and their child's name wasn't announced until this year. Um, it's, it's a great moment of joy, you know, we have yeah. a lot to be thankful for. Absolutely. It's a, been a wonderful year. I, um, I'm just looking forward to have my own little family. Although this was Diane's first child, it was the second one for Norman. The Walking Dead actor is also the father of a 21-year-old boy, Mingus. He shares Mingus with the model Helena Keistensen, with whom he remained in a serious relationship for five years until they called it quits in 2003. The exes have a super healthy and productive co-parenting relationship and friendship. Kruger was 42 when she had Nova, and she doesn't regret having a baby at that point in her life. I am so glad I did not have a kid at 30. I think I would have absolutely resented it for all the things that you have to give up, because today I am happy to do so. I have been to every party, I have been to every country that I wanted to visit, so I'm 100% ready and willing to give my kid that attention. To each their own, right? Her priorities have completely shifted to her little family, as she calls it. It's not, what's it going to do for my career? It's more about, could it fit into my schedule? How can I make it work? Is it going to be worthwhile? She reflected. I was just worried, what, is she going to forget about me if I didn't see her today? Because, you know, I was up before she was and home after she was in bed. Um, and just, I had extreme separation anxiety. So what's next for this couple? They have only been together for about five years, but it seems that the couple is certain at this point in their life. Kruger has said there are certain things she won't accept anymore. She thinks that in long-term relationships, you start making excuses and too many compromises, but there are some things she won't compromise on. She said this after her split from Joshua, and it seems that Diane doesn't need to compromise on any of her no-compromise points with Norman. The supermodel may have manifested her perfect romance through several Instagram posts where she wrote, Men aren't stupid and you don't need a complicated set of rules to find a good one who loves you. Here's the only rule you need. If a man loves you, he will do anything he can to keep you around. Anything. And now we can hear wedding bells in stock for the lovebirds. The engagement was extremely private and Diane and Norman said they would appreciate it if their fans and the media don't ask about it or the wedding. Even in the craziest of circumstances and the strangest of matches, love always wins. Uh, the house was full of balloons and flowers. We went to Central Park uh, where there's a bench that, you know, like you can dedicate a bench to somebody. So did you do that? We did that, but we walked around Central Park for like two hours yesterday and couldn't find it. From the looks of it, they are complete opposites. But Kruger and Reedus complement each other really well. He's a free-spirited and easy-going force, and she balances that with her analytical and thoughtful personality. They are happily in love, and she even said that he is her teenage dream of a man and the love of her life. He calls her his rabbit, and that suits their relationship perfectly, because it is as cute as a bunny. Diane said, I think life's better with somebody holding your hand, and I've found the person I want to hold my hand for the rest of my life. 
He is the father of my child, he is the love of my life, and it couldn't get better than that. We cannot wait to see what this couple has in store for the future. There is definitely a wedding soon, and maybe another gorgeous baby in the next couple of years? We don't know, but we are eager to find out. There's nothing better than a hopeless romantic finding love. English singer Rita Ora and her filmmaker beau Taika Waititi have us swooning over their fairy tale romance. From cute tributes on social media to funny poses on red carpets, the Ora Waititi buzz is setting standards as the latest celebrity power couple. Not to mention they're very easy on the eyes. Talented, ambitious, good looking, and madly in love? Sounds like a match made in heaven. Also, did we mention that they might be married? In Jamie Winstone's Greatest Night Ever podcast, the musician sings a tune of joy about her loving relationship. In the episode, Aura mentions that she has always been a believer in love, saying, I've always wanted the fairy tale. She credits her lust for love to her parents, who have been happily married for 30 years. While the singer had been on this journey towards love, she encountered a few relationships, but was never married. In the early 2010s, Aura was linked to Rob Kardashian. My love life at the moment is non-existent, but I can say that we are very good friends. Uh, me and Rob are really good friends, it's nothing like that. Their relationship lasted a few months and ended quite dramatically. Following their split, Kardashian released a chain of tweets aimed at tarnishing the singer's name. Despite his best efforts, this didn't affect her. The blonde bombshell has also been linked to Andrew Garfield, Calvin Harris, Andrew Watt, and Ricky Hill. While his lover was finding her way to him, Taika Waititi had been married to his ex-wife, Chelsea Wynn Stanley, for about six years. The ex-couple share two daughters. While neither the filmmaker nor his ex-wife has provided any information on the reasons for the split, it's been reported that they quietly separated in 2018. There seems to be a trend here about Waititi preferring to keep his love life away from the media and public gaze. It's understandable to know that the man deals with his problems internally instead of talking to the media and having fans jump in on his battles. However, because of the hushed separation, some confusion came about when Waititi was seen out with different women. The ex-couple still hasn't spoken about their separation. However, following the release of Jojo Rabbit, directed by Waititi and produced by Wynn Stanley, the producer tweeted statements like, Hashtag not my husband. It could be a wonderful thing that it never worked out with the exes, because Rita Ora's relationship with Taika Waititi is what dreams are made of. You can't help but be happy that this rock star princess has finally found her knight in fashionable armor. Taika, my partner. In a post on Instagram, Rita Ora and Taika Waititi both shared a sweet gallery of images for Valentine's Day this year. Their posts also mark their first anniversary. The captions let us know that the couple met in Australia four years before they officially started dating. Rita and Taika had been friends until 2021, when the two sparked their romance away from the public gaze. The couple kept their relationship very low-key, giving snippets of their involvement in the form of Instagram posts and comments. It was only in May 2021 that the duo made headlines for a saucy scandal featuring Tessa Thompson. The New Zealand-born director is known as the creative mind behind the last two Thor movies, which feature Thompson. The Daily Mail posted pictures of the three celebrities getting cozy and sharing kisses. This three-way kiss sparked rumors of a possible thruple. However, the filmmaker was quick to shut down rumors of a menage a trois, saying, I was doing nothing wrong. It's fine. Following the Thompson scandal, we began to see more of the power couple. The pop star and actor attended the 2021 Met Gala together. By early 2022, the singer and filmmaker had been dating for a year and had attended many red carpet events as a public couple. Their social media became a site of appreciation for one another, often congratulating their partner's achievements. By August, rumors began of an undercover wedding. Don't you just love a secretive celebrity couple? While neither has confirmed getting married to the media, sources who spoke to The Sun UK reported that the couple enjoyed an intimate wedding ceremony with their loved ones in London. Instagram detectives were also quick to notice the matching wedding bands that the Poison singer and her Grammy award-winning potential husband have been sporting in recent photos. The bands are plain gold and chunky, a timeless classic. According to jewelry experts, the choice of a gold band reflects an eternal love. How romantic. The paparazzi culture has made us almost entitled to know what goes on in every aspect of a celebrity's life. And often we need these reminders that they are also people. They are also human. 
They want to enjoy some things for themselves. If there is anything to say about this couple, it's that they like to keep things interesting. The Sun UK reported on a romantic honeymoon that Waititi had organized for himself and his songbird. According to the article, Aura met the Jojo Rabbit director in New Zealand following a long period of separation after their marriage. He then whisked her away in a private helicopter to a romantic getaway on Waheke Island. Waititi, who set to star in HBO's Our Flag Means Death, made sure to make the experience nothing short of memorable. From selecting a gorgeous location and making sure their bathroom was stocked up on lush bath bombs for the enjoyment of the gigantic bathtub. Aura shared little moments of her honeymoon on her Instagram. The snaps show her lounging in the tub surrounded by pink water, sipping on wine in a stunning zebra-striped coat, and even all kitted up in a bee suit so that she and her hubby could take an introductory beekeeping course. What else could you expect from the creative mind that gave us Thor, Love and Thunder, Free Guy, and Lightyear? The singer-filmmaker duo reminds us that it's the choices we make which sway how remarkable life can be. It's just nice to find someone that you can sort of have fun with and work with and respect and we respect each other's work and, you know, it's nice to have space but also be together at the same time. If we're constantly sharing our lives with the world, there's little room for precious moments. Happiness is found within the little secrets you share with your partner, the inside jokes, the goofy moments. Although this isn't to say that Aura and Waititi want to keep everything to themselves. On his partner's recent bikini grams, the Kiwi actor and comedian can be seen trolling Aura and correcting her grammar. Donaldson confirms that humor and playfulness are large factors in this relationship. From the way he holds her around the waist, the expert notes that the director wants to protect his partner, who feels safe around him. The couple is always physically close to each other, reportedly telling us they are intimate. In the same breath, they aren't too serious, as seen in some of their photos. The couple prioritizes having fun and being together. Like Emily Spector says in a Vogue article, I want what they have. The English singer and her 46-year-old hubby had delayed their honeymoon celebration because the director had been busy filming for HBO Max's new series, Our Flag Means Death. The Kiwi creative also has plans to direct Time Bandits, an Apple Plus production. While her lover is out being a big shot director, Rita Ora has dropped hints that her new album, Raw, will be released in January 2023. Music for me is really the only thing I feel like I've got left to really feel happy, so I just wanted to make something that feels good. The songstress also spent this year searching for musical talent on The Voice Australia. Housing a vast collection of musical accomplishments, Aura has decided to turn her attention to the big screen. I would love to express my creativity through films. I have always looked at myself as a 360 artist, she told The Sun. Not to mention, the artist's bold sense of fashion is a full-time gig. With all these projects and past achievements under their belts, Waititi and Aura are staking their claim as a celebrity power couple. Look out, world, because Ritaika are here to break Hollywood.